This is the main event of the evening, sponsored by Modern Primitives. This event is sanctioned by the Arkansas State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Webb. Referee in charge is Rocky Demir. Our three judges scoring outside the octagon are John Mons, Sonny Axum, and Haley Pugsley. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. From the Texarkana, Arkansas Convention Center and the people watching live on pay-per-view. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the peak fighting lightweight division at a catch weight of 160 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a two and two record. He stands five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, fighting out of Longview, Texas, Ariel Warren! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a perfect, unblemished 5-0 record. He stands six foot tall, weighing in at 157 pounds, six ounces, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Vaughn the Dread Govea! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. We are here for the main event. Texarkana, Arkansas. Texarkana Convention Center. Peak fighting origins. Here we go. Ariel Juarez, Von Govia. Von putting his 5 0 MMA record on the line. Touch of the gloves. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Errol is not afraid to stand and bang with him. Good couple jabs, stiff jabs out there. Beautiful inside leg kick. And I can see the explosion already from Vaughn. Oh, man, his, his jab is so fast. Powerful leg kick. Great moving from, great movement from Juarez. But the speed and explosiveness is just so evident in Govia. Nice, another great late kick. Just missed with that too. Oh, Juarez is not playing around here. Defended that. Was not expecting Vaughn to be against the cage on his, his back against the cage. Juan turned him around like it was nothing. Good head position, good control, so Vaughn can't throw in some cheap shots. Great in space. But the pros is a beautiful thing you create space with so you can finish it. Nice overhand out the clinch. Another powerful leg kick. This was supposed to be a war. Nice lane. You can see the slip, roll, and pull, baby. Yeah, he is a boxer. You can tell. Man, he threw in an overhand right, and he was catching that right leg kick. Doing it again. Parry that leg kick around. Put him against the cage. He's going to high crotch him. He's going to pick him up. Put him down. This is not what people were expecting, I guarantee you, with the 2-2 two and two record and a 5-0 and oh record, to see Ariel Juarez taking the fight to Govia. Ariel Juarez taking him down, putting him against the cage, piecing it together, making him miss, throwing leg kicks like he is. Von Govia back to his feet. He's got to put his hands together. He's got to work some angles. He's got to start piecing things together, not just a kick, not just a jab, not just an overhand. Start setting up, Ariel. Trading back and forth, getting a little back massage from the cage. Ariel's doing a great job controlling. Oh, it looked like he hurt him with the liver shot to that knee, dropped him. Maybe just drop for a double leg, but this is not good. 
to be on your back looking for heel hooks when a dude wants to wreck your mouth. If you can take him down, now the fight's gonna be different. See, it changes now. Oh, I don't know if Von Govia has any ankle locks or leg lock game. He's got the heel right there. He's got the heel right there. And he's got to bring it up into his ankle. A little back fist of Darn the Dragon Wilson style. Oh, Boston Crab. He's got a straight ankle lock on him. He's got a straight ankle, but he's on the wrong side. He ain't going to do it from here. Yeah, Vaughn's just going to stand up, put his foot on the ground. <laughs> it's called a triangle if you can actually get this. But Yeah, Vaughn's working his way out. He's going to sneak up, take his back. He's got it, almost like a calf slicer and an ankle lock. I don't know if Vaughn's gonna wanna hang on to it. No, he don't have it tight anymore. He's just gonna use it in the transition position. Vaughn on his back and half guard. Nothing going, uh, Ariel on his back and half guard. Vaughn looking to posture up, maybe drop an elbow. I haven't seen an elbow yet from either one of these pro fighters. Vaughn cannot stay there with double overhooks. You just end up on your back. Yeah, that's where Ariel is climbing on top of him, exactly what he's looking to do. Just from here, you can just stay here and throw on some damage. You're winning the round on top position. All you got to do is just throw some cheap shots in here. He's going to trap that leg, step over that leg and trap it. Oh, he's looking for a Kimura. He is, he's looking for a Kimura. If Vaughn lays there, he's gonna put him back on his back. If he steps over, he's gonna try and get his leg out so he can get in a side mount. 10 seconds left. You can grab your own shorts, it's legal. You can't grab your opponent's shorts. There you go, that's how you finish round. That's what he should have done in the first place. So, I saw the explosiveness. You can see that fast twitch muscle fibers going off on Vaughn when he first started, just ready to load, ready to pounce. But he's not putting his hands together. I think if Vaughn could start working on, you know, a jab and then hit an inside leg kick and then a straight cross to the body and then coming with the left hook, you know, hitting the angles on him, switching directions high and low. But Ariel is fine just to lean back, throw his counter, blast a leg kick. Vaughn's got to stay against, off the cage. He's going to be more of the same. He's going to blow his arms out looking for those guillotines. And... Southpaw orthodox. Beautiful. Beautiful again. Again, he's just throwing. So Von Govia is a southpaw. There he hit it with a two. I know he's going to see, find a home for it. See, he's looking for a home for it. There it was. And it's just not going to land unless you set it up with something. The timing has got to be there. Another knee. Yeah, block the knee. There's the elbow, there we go. Smart fighting, Von Govia. Another beautiful inside leg kick. Drop levels right into a takedown. Beautiful. Errol's running a smart fight to the cage, to the takedown. Man, you know, he's doing everything he needs to do. That's yeah, beautiful. Trapping it with your shins, staple it down, and be able to go in there and do some damage. And every time you touch him, you're telling the judges, me, me, pick me, choose me, if it ever comes down to that. Because it looks like, like these guys were ready for a three-round war. They said it in their bios. We knew that's what they were looking to do. He's winning the round. He don't have to do anything. He can just try and rip his arms off. Vaughn, he's got to get an underhook. See that left arm around the back of the neck? He's not going to do anything for you. He's trying to sit up. Just going to allow Ariel to climb up on top of him, pull his legs down, put him back on his back again. He's going to try and get up. Nice. Set one hook, set two hooks. There is no doubt. No doubt. There's his body lock. Oh, he's so close to it. Turning on his back. He doesn't have anything off his back yet. Close guard, man, he lost position. Vaughn was really smart being able to turn in before he can keep that arm drag. 
See his arm across his body? Vaughn's right arm is across his body. That could turn into a choke, could turn into a triangle or an arm drag. He's got to posture up. He can't be comfortable laying down here. He's got to create space. There he goes. Another elbow. That is smart fighting. Damage. That is what judges look for is damage. You want to score, score big. So this is where we start testing the endurance of Ariel. And you have a big man, very strong. You gotta watch out for that triangle. Arrow's doing a great job controlling the arms of Vaughn, not taking the damage, which somebody like that would normally probably just posture up and rain down. He's looking at that angle, he's looking for the arm bar. You can't pull up, you gotta stack. This is where you gotta work and understand. This is where a lot of guys are trying to use their muscle to get up out of it. He may be strong enough to get out of it and pass. There, drop a knee, stack him up, lift his butt up, switching it to a triangle. That is tactical jiu-jitsu right there. We are going to see an upset tonight from Ariel Juarez. That was it, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the biggest upset tonight. 5-0 versus 2-2. Two two. Ariel Juarez had no doubt coming to this fight that he was the better fighter. Beautiful triangle choke from Ariel Juarez. We got the tap out. Man, this is what we were looking for. These are the stories, these are the fighters. Don't count anybody out, my friend. Von Govia has a bright future, great career ahead of him, and it was just one of those things. What is it? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out when we talk to Ariel. Incredible, incredible, incredible. That was, that was what we were looking for. That was the control, the striking, the angles, the takedowns, the cage control. I talked to the promoter earlier when he was talking about this fight and he knew that Ariel had more of a chance than anybody to come in and take out Bongo Villa. All righty. A time of three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two by Triangle Choke. Fighting out of the red corner, Ariel Wall! Ariel Juarez. Do you doubt him now? Huh? <laughs> his coach said yes, his teammate said, Ariel Juarez, you came in here and took down the giant 5-0, Bongo Villa. You dominated from the first round. You put him against a cage, you took him down. You had position. It was incredible. The head movement, he's coming with that overhand right. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Congratulations on your victory. I know your mind is going crazy right now. I want to give you this opportunity just being here. Ladies and gentlemen, can you give it up? Ariel Juarez, yes. Ariel, give you a moment on the mic. Take a big deep breath. Hey, you run marathons, man. First off, uh, thank God for the opportunity. My wife, my friends, they always support me. My teammates. Uh, just like I said the last couple of times, when my mind's right, can't nobody stop me. You, you look phenomenal out there. You know, you come in here with a 2-2 two and two record, you're moving to 3-2, and two, but overall you have like 19 fights under your belt with amateurs and pros. You look beautiful out here. I mean, I need you to understand that from a fan point, from a coach point, but watching this and seeing the angles and movement, and you were so fluid and so calm the entire time. Congratulations on that. So you're setting this up. And I knew you were going for that armbar. And the transition from the armbar to the triangle, beautiful jujitsu. Where are you training out of? Uh, Long Beach, MMA, uh, Team 515 in Long Beach, Texas. He said, he said it so fast. Team 515, Long Beach, Texas. Man, it was incredible. I'll give you a shout out if you want again. You can say your sponsors. Another thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before you go tonight, thank you guys for coming out. Ariel Juarez, you can finish this off. Uh, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed the show. And that's it. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for a wonderful night. Peak fighting origins. Good night, Texarkana.